Hey everyone, I'm Rick Beato, and today's Everything Music, we're going to talk about writing for the trumpet. Now, the trumpet typically is a B-flat instrument, meaning that it sounds a whole step lower than what is written. So, if you want to play a B-flat, you have to, let's say, in the middle of the treble clef, you have to write a C, so the note a whole step above it. So it sounds a whole step lower than what is written. There are many different types of trumpets. The two most common are the B flat and the C trumpet for orchestral music, which you have A trumpet, the D trumpet. Uh, there are many different trumpets that you have, but the two most common are the C and the B flat. The range of the trumpet is from F sharp three, so down here below middle C, up to C6. That is the range of the trumpet. I like to think of it this way. There's a couple tunes that are really common that will kind of give you an idea for the trumpet's range and how it sounds and the type of intervals that are good to use in the trump in trumpet playing. One of them is Fanfare for the Common Man, which is, goes like this. <laughs> This starts with an F to B flat to F. So these are open intervals or perfect intervals. You have the perfect fourth, F to B flat, and then B flat to F, and then, then you B flat, F, E flat, and then you come down G, E flat, B flat. So you have this. On the way down, you have G, E flat, B flat, F, and then there's an E flat major triad, E flat, G, B flat, and then B flat major. And then you go D, F, B flat. D, F, B flat is a B flat major spread triad. Now what's cool about that is that kind of spans the entire range. It doesn't go up to the high C, but it pretty much spans most of the entire range. It goes down to this low B flat. You have a few extra notes down here. You have a, a major third down to, to, the, uh, to the G flat or the F sharp. And another one that'll give you the idea of, of the trumpet range is this tune that you'll know. Well, what do you notice about this? They're both in B flat, and it goes. Well, that also starts. Right? Right there is the first part of Fanfare for the Common Man by Aaron Copeland that we had just done. So that gives you an idea of the trumpet range. This high B flat is right near where the high C is. Now, there's some other cool things when you're talking about a section of trumpets. So let's say you have four trumpets, which is not uncommon in uh, orchestral writing, especially in film music. You'll very routinely have chords voiced with four notes. I had done one of the voicings in one of the videos where I was playing the uh, in the claw, the Randy Newman cue that I talk about that uh, is voicing of an E-flat Lydian chord. And the trumpets play this voicing here, where they play. So they have, the, they have an A and B-flat next to each other, which is really tough. If I was gonna do that, I would put them on the outside of, the, uh, of each other and I have them stand next to each other. And then you have A, B-flat, E-flat, A. But what really sounds great, that sounds great, but what really sounds great are these kind of open intervals. Whether you have things like this, like an F5 chord, for example. So root, fifth, root. Or root, fifth, ninth, open fifths. That's C, G, D. So I'm using a, I did an F major spread triad to a C major spread triad in, in a second inversion, that'd be C over G. Spread triads sound really great 
in here. We heard it in Fanfare for the Common Man when Copeland comes down. Like I said, when you play them together, they sound great. Just using simple spread triads, something like this. B flat, up to E flat major. B flat major, then F major. Or, or it could go B flat major, to E flat major. And go to this F5 chord here, so F, C, F. So I went B flat spread triad, to E flat spread triad, B flat major over D, to. You can also do some nice dissonances in them. So you can go. some of the kind of things to keep in mind when you're writing for trumpet. Remember, if you want to write a B-flat major chord, let's say, you have to write it as a C major chord. So all the notes, so I play D, F, B-flat. You're going to write it as if it's D, G, C. So by writing those notes, it will come out like that as a B-flat major chord. <laughs> You notice that John Williams writes a lot of open consonances, perfect fourths, perfect fifths in his melody. If you take a melody like Jurassic Park, for example, the theme, uh, the end title theme, it's... Um... So he starts out B flat F, perfect fifth, then C, G, another perfect fifth. So two, two perfect fifths in a row. Then he goes... Uh, that's a great example of these open consonances. They just sound good when they're played by brass. And that's that's just one of the things that he figured out a long time ago and writes a lot of these really powerful melodies with that. You think about the Superman melody. It starts in G. What's he do? He goes G, G, C, G, G, C, G, C. It's a C5 chord, right? A lot of open intervals there. You've got that sixth interval and then resolving down to the D there. So here's the range. I'm going to be getting into more writing for sections. We're going to talk about each individual instrument, then writing for the section as a whole. So we're going to go through all the different brass instruments, talk about the ranges, about things that sound good, talk about what sounds best in their playing, and also how to write as a section. Once again, you'll notice the key that John Williams is using here, or Aaron Copeland on Fanfare for the Common Man. These notes, these flat keys, like B flat. You notice they're not writing in sharp keys. They're not writing in E major. They're writing in B flat major. That's one of the things. You write in keys. I mean, you can write in any key you'd like, but you need to write in keys that sound good on the instruments. That's one of the reasons that John Williams will gravitate towards these keys, because they actually sound great. That's why the Star Wars theme is, is there in B-flat major. It sounds amazing like that. Same with Aaron Copeland, Fanfare for the Common Man. It sounds great in that key. That's all for now. Please subscribe here to my Everything Music YouTube channel. And if you're interested in the Beato book, you can go to www.rickbeato.com and find it in the store. Also, don't forget to subscribe to my podcast. You can find it in the iTunes store or on the Google Play store. And if you'd like to support me on Patreon to help my video creation, 
you can click on the link provided below. That's all for now. Thanks for watching.